This morning we're going to be tying a plummeting rainbow bead tarantula legged leech for uh, a fly. It's for lake fishing, but probably has other applications as well. So I've started out here with a 5262 uh, and a rainbow hued uh, plummeting tungsten bead. I've got some uh, 150 denier Ligerton thread, which will make a nice thread wrap all the way back. Cut off our tag end. I've got a single woolly bugger marabou plume for the tail. I'm going to measure that to be about the same length as the shank. So I'll kind of just go in there, do my pinch method. Wrap that all down. This fly is kind of cool in that it has a lot of movement, but uh, relatively simple to tie. The tail is in place. I've got my tarantula legs here. This is the uh, kind of a bloody black mix. And this is kind of like so a not, seal or you know a mix, some of the dubbings you've seen, but just so much easier to use. It is. It's in a super convenient package. So basically what we have here is a couple stainless steel wires, dubbing looped in between. We've got a nice like a, a trilobal antron mixed in with a little bit of red flash and then there's also a fine rubber leg that's uh, off the side. Uh, basically what you have is like a, a built-in dubbed body chenille that you just wrap forward. It makes a really nice body with movement. So I've got about a couple inches here of the material. A lot of different applications for this material. This is a real easy one, but we're going to do a few other things as well. You betcha. And with that wire, you get some weight out of it. You do. Uh, more importantly, there's nothing really to soak up uh, water and have to shed it when you cast it. So you're going to be able to have a little bit lighter fly and probably therefore a little bit more control out of the situation. I'm just going to build up some thread here behind, pinning the bead forward. Reaching my box of tricks here. Grab my whip finisher. There you have a complete tarantula leg leech. Movement, ease, and weight from the uh, cool new tungsten beads. It's one of my favorites. Hope it's one of yours too.